described it as a mansion throughout my life, just to avoid the awkward questions. But it was actually a prison where little children made rosary beads every day. We certainly never felt love and were lost to the outside world. That's how I used to describe it. I spent 11 years of my childhood in Golden Bridge Industrial School. Before I emigrated to England in 1983, I decided to return to Golden Bridge so that I could put the ghosts of my broken childhood to rest by walking through the corridors, the dormitories, the yard, and perhaps even slide down the stairwell one last time. This was denied me because the whole building had been demolished. Out in the yard, we would stare up to the window for scraps of bread to be thrown. Before it even hit the ground, we scurried like vultures to grab it. I was deeply guilt-ridden to even mention to anyone that I grew up in an orphanage, even though I wasn't an orphan. And so I struggled to come to terms with my past, because it followed me around like a shadow. Ireland's history, and in particular what happened to thousands of their own children, should never be forgotten. The thing is, they may have destroyed my childhood home, but my memories are still very much with me and I'll continue to talk and write about my experiences, no matter what. And just like a flower, I'm still blossoming on my journey.